Ray's nightmare scenario begins as a supercell storm forms over north central Texas. A 160 km per hour tornado, an F3, touches down in a dusty field 10 miles southwest of Dallas. Its first target is the suburb of Cockrell Hill. Packing winds in excess of 320 km per hour, cars are tossed aside, buildings are decimated. The tornado continues northeast, unrelenting in its assault on thousands of homes. The twister's internal wind speeds rise past 400 kilometers per hour, turning it into an F5. Fueled by tons of debris, the giant tornado slows as it descends on the busy freeway. Panic ensues as many abandon their cars, creating a traffic jam that traps thousands. The 443 km per hour winds effortlessly swat cars off the highway. Anyone hiding under an overpass is vulnerable to flying debris and violent winds. Cars snatched up by the powerful updraft winds are spun around inside a giant vortex, then shot out, creating a dangerous hazard for anyone in their path. Next, the deadly twister approaches downtown Dallas. Dozens of skyscrapers and tens of thousands of people crowd the city. Giant glass windows shatter. Marble and bricks are ripped off buildings. A deadly shower of glass and other debris rains down onto the crowd below. A packed commuter train snakes through the city. It's swept off the tracks and slammed into a skyscraper, killing hundreds in the train and office buildings. The tornado continues north, leaving the wreckage of downtown Dallas behind. Tornadic winds more than 500 kilometers per hour now descend on the suburban landscape of Lakewood. 2,000 people living here have had up to 20 minutes to seek underground shelter. A seemingly reasonable chance for survival. But like the Gerald Texas Twister, those hiding in closets or bathrooms can only pray. Finally, the worst tornado in history slowly drifts skyward and dissipates. The war zone behind it is 61 kilometers long. Dallas is devastated.